Hey, welcome back, Page Turners. I just want to say sorry for the lack of content in the last few weeks. Free Comic Book Day took a lot out of me, and I'm just getting back to shooting videos, editing videos, so expect some new content very, very soon. For right now, I'm going to show you what I picked up this weekend. Uh, I cleared out the pull box at the comic shop, uh, some books that I've had for for a couple of months trying to uh, afford them, so I took some some back issues in today, some books I wasn't really digging, you know, some, some stuff I needed to clear out of the long boxes just to make some room. So I went in and I picked these up, so I'm just gonna start from the top of the stack and go down. Some really good books in here, so I'm just gonna start with the, uh, the cool stuff, but not as cool as the stuff at the bottom. So as you can see, the, uh, the Mad Batman Detective Comics here with the uh, Alfred E. Newman Man Bat there dropping a loaf on the the Batmobile. I, I love this cover. There's there's a, quite a few of them. There's like the uh, the Green Lantern with Alfred E. Newman picking his nose with a ring. The Flash cover where he's actually streaking. There's just a lot of really fun uh, mad covers. So if you guys can get any of these, check them out because they're they're really cool. So let's move on to the next one. Oh, we got the Guardians of the Galaxy number one variant edition with Deadpool get in line and uh, I also picked up the black and white variant of that so I've actually got a couple of the black and white variants of the uh, Deadpool stuff that they've been doing next up we have a very badly sun damaged New Mutants number two um, I took the sticker off and as you can see right there uh, that's the only thing that's the color that everything else should be so uh, as you can see, I picked it up just because uh, I don't have a copy. I have a copy of New Mutants number one, um, and uh, I figured why not get a number two and a number three. The number three is in pretty good condition. Um, let's see, what do we have next? We have an Incredible Hulk 324, and uh, I believe this is the first appearance of the Grey Hulk. I'm not sure if it's his cameo. Uh, it says the return of the Grey Skin Goliath. So I'm not sure if this is a second appearance type thing or what's going on. I'll have to look a little bit further into it. But I love the iconic cover. This cover has been used so many times. I believe this is actually, if you can get in here, this is after Kirby. Go on after Kirby. So I believe Kirby had done a uh, an actual Hulk, the Green Hulk, with Banner doing that, and then this was the the cover swipe of it, but. I enjoyed it, so I picked it up. Next book. Ooh, wow, check that out. Amazing Spider-Man 245. I picked up quite a few Amazing Spider-Mans uh, this weekend, so we're going to get into the next one. Issue 250. Two seventy-five. I don't know. Out of the goblins, I always like the concept of the green guy or the hobgoblin. Green Goblin I just kind of always seen as a Halloween costume, whereas I felt like this character was more of a flushed out version. Um, especially, the I think my first introduction to Hobgoblin was McFarlane's uh, Ghost Rider and Hobgoblin story and his Spider-Man run. And from that point on, Hobgoblin was just one of the one of my, my favorite villains, if you will. So I've always liked to collect his, uh, his issues. And bam, we can't can't get enough of the old uh, carnage there so pick this one up this is the the conclusion um, I believe his first appearance is 361 maybe 362 I'm not sure it's been so long since I've actually checked on these books but I I had seen this was in uh, our back issues and I, I pulled it out through it in the long box or the pull box and finally finally was able to bring it home BAM Another wedding issue. I've been trying to get all these for the wife since the wedding. I wanted to pick them up for the wedding and give them to her, but I've just been able to uh, find them here and there. So, got that one as well. That's it's such an iconic cover. I believe uh, the only one I really need to get is the X-Men issue 30, which is the Cyclops Jean Grey wedding. Bam! Speaking of Mar uh, McFarlane, New Mutants, 87. First appearance of Cable. I have a second appearance of Cable as well, um, that's upstairs in the McFarland box as well. Hot Rod Todd's Long Box, BAM! That sounds so dirty, doesn't it? Uh, Detective Comics, uh, this is issue 575, 576. 
Now, this is something I'm not sure if, any, if, if you guys can see this. You see how this is white? Now look at this. See how this is blue? Okay, now check this out. That one's white. So if anybody else has this issue, uh, Hippie, any other, uh, any of the older collectors that should have this book, if you will, um, if you could do me a favor and check and see if that's white or blue for me, um, I would appreciate it. But as you can see, I have the full run here, all the way up to 578. So that's all the books I, I picked up this week. Actually, I've got uh, another couple over here, which I didn't think were too relevant for the situation. I mean, Judge Dredd, that's an awesome book. Everybody loves, loves Judge Dredd, but I don't think that this is the actual issue number one of the main series, because it says the, the Mega series, which is a five issue up here. So, and then Aquaman, which this is another number one, but again, I don't, I highly doubt that this is the original because this was from 86. So, I just figured I'd pick them both up because it's uh, sort of an origin story in case my kid wants to know what's going on with these characters. He's got some issue ones to check out. So, that is, as uh, Mark and Chloe would say, my fat stack, and wow, it's actually pretty good fat stack going on there so if you guys enjoyed this thumbs up the video leave a comment let me know what you guys think about these issues if you guys have any questions comments suggestions anything like that feel free to leave them and uh, I will definitely reply in a timely manner and fashion so I hope you guys are doing well I hope free comic book day was running well for you guys I hope you guys got everything that you were expecting to get hope you got some good deals so most of the comic shops that had free comic book day if uh, if you didn't get your free comic book days the ones that you wanted the free books uh, they might still have them so swing back in there if you couldn't make it in so again hope you guys are having a good time hope the uh, weather is treating you guys well and I hope everything has been good for you so I will see you here very shortly for episode number 10 of long box weekly comic book review for now this is something I think I'm gonna start calling backups where you know I start showing back issues of stuff that I pick up from the shop you know, so thank you guys very much for watching and have a good day.